Good morning everybody and welcome to day three of our Moroccan travel adventure um, and another day, another sunrise. Um, we're still in uh, Haight Penadou um, and yeah we've come to the sort of classic viewpoint um, of the Casper from the other side of the river riverbed and yeah we got here reasonably early so um, just waiting for the sun to go up but um, yeah unfortunately no, no real clouds in the sky which I kind of expected to be honest um, but yeah I've got the long lens on and I'm going to pick out some some shots um, from from a distance um, and hopefully get the nice morning light shining on the on the caspers um, and yeah getting that orange orange glow <laughs> This first image of the video is probably one of my favourites from the entire trip. It's exactly the image I was after at this location and if anything it probably turned out better than I thought. It's definitely one of those I can't wait to print out and hang on the wall. Yeah as I said no clouds in the sky but that's not necessarily a bad thing and actually in, in, in this case it kind of works in my favour um, purely because it, it kind of gives you sort of guaranteed sunlight um, in the early hours of the morning. So the sun is coming up at the moment and yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I just love how the, the brickwork just sort of comes alive almost. Um, you know, and the red, the red brick just sort of turns a real, a real vibrant colour. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. Also just love the shape of the houses or the, the caspers. Um, yeah, I just love how kind of angular they are and um, yeah, they all just sort of, it's like a puzzle when they all fit in. Um, so I'm just trying to capture that. So a local kind of saw us uh, down down uh, on the ground level and um, offered his um, balcony to get a better view um, which was very nice of him um, but yeah getting a slightly better elevation now um, which kind of gives that look of looking down almost so just sort of experimenting with with that um, and just sort of shooting the, the same compositions just at this higher elevation After breakfast, we hit the road and made our way to the Sahara Desert. Again, similar to the previous day, we had the whole day to make our way to the small town of Mohammed, which is basically the final point of civilization before you get into the desert. And that's where we would be picked up and taken to the desert camp. So we marked off locations along the way to break up the journey. The first place we stopped at was Tarit Kasper, a historic fortified Kasper originally dating back to the 19th century. On the way to the desert we've stopped over um, at a well-known Kasper and yeah just having a walk around at the moment. Looks quite well maintained or looks relatively new anyway. a few hours um, drive to where we need to get to so we're just sort of picking locations along the way not too far away from the main road um, but yeah this is a, a real a real gem I think. At the height of its prominence Tariq Kasper had close to 300 rooms and within the Kasper itself were more than 20 riads. <laughs> While I was there I did mention how well maintained everything looked and that's as a result of the assistance from UNESCO 
to restore this section of the casper. Like I mentioned earlier, we did have all day to get to the town of Mohammed, but I was conscious of maximising our time in the camp and I was keen to catch the sunset that evening. I knew the drive from Mohammed to the camp was about two hours and sunset was at about 7pm, so from that I kind of had a rough guide as to when we should get to Mohammed. We also stopped off at a wonderful viewpoint outside the large town of Agadez. Essentially you look out on an entire valley of palm trees which really was amazing. Just seeing the stark contrast between the green palms and the dry desert rock was so surreal. Just a few miles up the road the landscape definitely started to become more desert like and we kept looking at the outside temperature reading from the car which just seemed to go up and up the further we drove. I think during this journey it maxed out at about 45 degrees celsius which was just insane. Eventually we did get to the town of Mohammed so we quickly dropped off our hire car and hopped in the 4x4 to make our way to the camp. The landscape along the way was so interesting. It wasn't just sandy dunes but also these really strange mounds with trees growing out of them and in some places it was just sheer rock and stone. After a thrilling ride we reached the camp and got settled into our tent. Our first impression of the camp was just amazement, everything was just so luxurious and really peaceful. Every now and again you'd have to remind yourself you were in the middle of the desert and so far from anywhere. The people there were so friendly and helpful as well, which only added to the experience. I did quite a bit of research before booking this camp as there are quite a few different companies that operate out of Mohammed and the Erg Chicago area. I found I kept coming back to a company called Desert Camp Morocco run by Nick and Bobo. All the reviews seem to be so positive and emphasise the peacefulness of the camp, the excellent food and the friendliness of the staff. I'll put all their information in the description below as there are quite a few different companies with similar names which can get a little bit confusing so I'll pop all that information down below. As you can see behind me uh, we've made it to the Sahara Desert and oh my god <laughs> absolutely amazing place absolutely incredible um, it's probably about two hours in the 4x4 getting out here um, but oh my god it was totally worth it um, so yeah we literally got here just before sunrise uh, dropped the bags off and literally just went to the highest dune uh, which is not too far from camp actually um, and then probably had, had about 10 minutes of of the sort of sun setting um, which was probably just enough time to to get some some good images but i think more importantly get like a a really good feel for for the desert and just how sort of amazing it is really. But yeah, I just love the love the shapes of the dunes. You know, they're just so unique. As I say, we went to the highest dune in the area um, and then took some um, snowboards up there um, and yeah, snowboard down the, down the dune, which was <laughs> really, really good fun. Yeah, went a lot quicker than I thought actually. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing place. Um, so yeah, we're here for, um, for two nights. Um, so yeah, plenty of time to get some really good images, I think and yeah, explore the, the area and do some really fun activities. Um, you know, riding, riding the camels and things, that'll be really good fun, I think. Um, but yeah, it was, it's so remote out here, which makes it so, so worthwhile. Um, it is a long journey, but so worthwhile. Um, but yeah, it's probably worth mentioning, um, this is the Erg Chicago 
area of the Sahara, um, which is very much less touristy than the Maguza, um, which is north of where we are. Um, and yeah, the reason why I chose this one was basically, um, it's, yeah, like I said, a lot less touristy um, and much more remote. You kind of get that feeling that the dunes kind of go on forever. Um, whereas the Maguza ones are a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more touristy and a little bit more um, sort of day trippy um, if you're coming from Marrakesh. Um, but yeah, the tent as well, where we're staying tonight is, is amazing. It's still very, very warm here. Um, it's probably about 40 degrees and the wind is, is hot. Um, so yeah, I think we may be sleeping under the stars tonight, which will be good fun. Um, but yeah, really amazing place and looking forward to the next few days. We then had a drink in the middle of the dunes before heading back to the camp where we tucked into a delicious traditional Moroccan meal. We ended the night with some drumming around the fire, which this grainy footage shows. As you can imagine, it gets very dark here, which then allowed us to get some amazing views of the night sky. And that wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.